Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and it also helps us reach others in need of assistance with these topics. So in today's video, we're gonna be covering statics and we're gonna be looking at moment about a point. And this will be our fourth part in this particular series. And what we have going on here is that we have a 20 pound force that is applied to the control rod AB as shown, knowing that the length of the rod is nine inches. This alpha angle up here is 25 degrees. We need to determine the moment of that 20 pound force about point B, which is down here at the bottom, by resolving the force into a horizontal and vertical component. So what we're going to do is that we are going to break up this 20 pound force into a horizontal and a vertical component, and we are going to make our XY coordinate system as the normal coordinate system. So since this force is going down into the right, that means that my Y and X forces will be going down and to the right. So looking at these particular forces, since the angle is off of the horizontal at 25 degrees, that means when I break this 20 pounds up into its component form, it'll be 20 cosines of 25 degrees because the angle's off of the X and cosine is adjacent. So this will give me 18.13 pounds to the right. And then my Y force down here will be 20 pounds sine of 25 degrees since the angle's off of the X, the Y is opposite and that is sine. And this will give me 8.45 pounds in the downward direction. Now, we are looking for the total moment being applied here at B. So moment will just be a force times a perpendicular distance. So we have our two forces in the XY coordinate system. Now we just need the perpendicular distances for each of those forces, where the horizontal force will need a perpendicular distance, which will be a vertical for, uh, distance. And then our vertical force will rely on a horizontal distance to get it to B. So how do we determine these vertical and horizontal distances? Well, we are told that the entire length of this lever is nine inches. And we are also shown that it's 65 degrees off of the horizontal. So if we were to complete the overall triangle here, this would be 65 degrees. This would be nine inches. And then we would use sine and cosine of the right triangle rule to get our vertical and horizontal distances there. So our horizontal distance would just be nine inches times the cosine of 65 degrees, which gives us 3.80 inches. And then our vertical dimension would be nine times the sine of 65 degrees, which would give us 8.16 inches in length in that vertical direction. Same reasoning behind using sine and cosine here is the same reasoning using sine and cosine up here for the force and utilizing the right triangle here. Alrighty, so this is all we need to determine our total moment at B. So let's go ahead and let some forces. I'm just going to take counterclockwise as positive here, summing moments about point B. So let's start with our vertical here. Well, this vertical um, Y force will be rotating counterclockwise around B as it comes down and swings around. So that will be a positive 8.45 pounds times its perpendicular distance. Since it is a vertical force, you need a horizontal dimension. So that'd be 3.80 inches. And then we would have our 18.13. This one will be coming down and it will be swinging clockwise about point B. So that would be negative based upon my sign convention. So minus 18.13 pounds. Since it is a horizontal force, I need a vertical dimension, and that vertical dimension to get it down to B would be 8.16 inches. And that's all I would have for my summation of forces, or summation of moment about B. And I would end up with minus 115.83 pound inches of moment. And since I have a negative sign here, that means that I'm opposite my positive sign convention. So what I have going on here is that my total moment about B would be 115.83 pound inches of clockwise rotation about point B. And that's how you would solve that particular moment problem. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you want to see more problem solved this Friday, please check out the other videos on our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below and subscribe to the channel because all of that helps. 
does help us out. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.